Still on? Ice breaks, sits like giants behind me Whispers in the steps and lies on their backs Last time you saw a sail from Puerto Chervo in the north of Sardinia all the way down to the main city of Olbia. We fought off eels and visited a stunning anchorage along the way. Also something very exciting happened. My oldest friend Tony, who had come to visit us for a week of sailing, became engaged to Amanda on board. We arrived in the big smoke to tie off to the town quay where our friends would soon be leaving by plane. Loving all the decorative graffiti. Okay. The boat was way too hot, so we all just refused to spend one more minute on that boat, and uh, we've just headed into town. We are walking what appears to be the main street. It hasn't got very interesting just yet, but the building's very cute and colourful. Oh, and there's a cal Calzedonia. That's like my favourite bikini shop ever. I think you really need to spend at least two weeks in any particular place before you can get a good feel for what it's really like. At first glance, it would have been easy to say that this place was fairly run down with an industrial vibe. But I'm sure that there was an area just around the corner crammed with cute boutiques, wine bars and historical sites that we'll never know about. See that? See that auto, like auto repair shop? That was the, it was about as dodgy as that was the place that we wound up at when we were trying to get the rudders fixed in, um, in Mayorkin when we were there last time. So I, I was in the back of the yard with like a, an auto repair shop with two German blokes. We met one guy and he said, yeah, yeah, no worries. I know what we need to do is this, this and this. And I've you know just the bloke, the builder, mate. And, but he was claustrophobic, so he wouldn't go in there and do anything. So I had to go in there and do everything and pay him. <laughs> so you met the owners of this boat? Yeah, they're super cool. They're from uh, Germany. And they, they, it's a life raft, or it's a life-saving boat. Uh, and they basically installed a keel and mass. It's a catch, catch rig. <clears throat> and then took out these massive engines in there. But he still put some pretty big ones in there, redid the whole thing. And they've been sailing since 1998, I believe. But, um, but yeah, they have a bunch of crazy features like a wind generator that's uh, supposed to be on a house. And um, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anything like that. He built his dinghy to have it himself, which is stupid heavy duty. And they said they got this thing, it weighs 70 tons, and they've got it up to 18 knots. I can't imagine what the true wind speed was. And uh, seven, seven meter waves are apparently child's play for this thing, so I'd love to sail on this. It's yeah. This is us carrying a thousand kilos of washing to the laundry mat, which is all the way on the side of town. Jackpot. We just found these random trolleys parked here. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> what are the chances of that, hey? I don't want to laugh at the homeless, but you really look homeless, babe. <laughs> It was a day of boring jobs as we prepared to leave Sardinia for Sicily, a 250 nautical mile sail which would take us around two days with good winds. The vagabond's a pigsty. Riley's just gone to retrieve the laundry. Uh, Daniel and I have spent the day at this cafe with aircon. Um, the only place they would let us sit all day and only order a smoothie. The ladies were really nice. And I've just got back and I'm like cleaning like a maniac as we do every time we have guests. Uh, just trying to, yeah, we're hoping to head off to Sicily soon. So cleaning out the fridges, I'm cleaning behind cupboards and it's quite disgusting actually. I feel really dirty. There's a, like a lettuce on the floor, just stuff's everywhere. I just want to go to sleep, but I'm nearly done. Look at the dishes, look at the dishes. Gross. See ya. Oh boy. See ya. See ya. So the wind's blowing us from this direction, so I've just got my starboard side engine in reverse, which is holding us against this wall. We're going to undo the, these two lines and leave the front one till last, and 
I'm gonna let the wind catch my butt and hopefully be able to reverse out of here without bashing into the boat in front of us, but we'll see. Working my fingers to the bone Back on the old grass stone Going this long without a laugh It was a draining day in the humidity and we were all pretty tired. Super stoked though to be out of the city. We decided to drop anchor at Isola Tavolara on a long white sandy beach for the night. Tomorrow we would begin tackling some serious miles. Cause it'll be a long time before I'm in the clear. Showers, and we just sat out in the cool. I sent an email telling them I had come from amazing. the national security area and was really so we're passionate off the day about with reducing our dependence on Elon oil Musk. And figured oh, it was Lord. just a dead letter type of thing, O'Connell said. Ginger and lemon. I got an yeah. email back the next day. I just want to say that I didn't take a shower. Did you O'Connell not? <laughs> and quickly dispatched Filthy, to Washington, get in that shower. To start poking around. It's been a big day. So nice, the sun coming up. The other side of that mirror. Where are they going? Sicily. When's the last time we were there? Three years ago, you and me. We, it was freezing. I had six blankets on outside. <laughs> Remember that? We went to a tiny coastal town in Sicily. Yeah, we did. We only had a I just stop googled on. cheapest marina and then we went to wherever that was. Yeah. Old sleepyhead. Trey and I are outside sailing. We've been getting these gusts off the land. Uh, mainly through the valleys, like there's some big mountains and the wind just howls through the valleys at about, what, 22 knots, so uh, we've just been playing with the autopilot and going downwind every time there's a gust. We've got full sails up at the moment, so yeah, anything above 21 knots, we should take a reef in the main, but it never lasts long, so we're just kind of, yeah, veering off course a bit and coming back. It's really fun. There is a special purpose buoy up ahead. It's a wave recorder, so we're just looking out for it. I think it'll only be small, but I cannot see. Riley suggested we go for a free dive, so that's what we're gonna do. And it's really hot, so this one would be great. Absolutely no life out here, but every now and then you'll see like a speck of something and I'm not sure if it's rubbish or I think, I'm guessing it's probably a bit of plastic, which is unfortunate, but there's a speck and it just looks very interesting because <laughs> it's just nothing but blue out here. It's gorgeous. We're The weather has been completely backwards, and I mean 180 degrees. Well, I thought that there was going to be wind from from there, there was wind from there. So we were going parallel to where we wanted to go to, which was Palermo. And then we're, there was supposed to be a dead spot, which we had, but I don't trust anything because the weather has just been completely backwards. And I just, I'm just starting to feel now 
a little bit of swell from the north, which is where it was supposed to have been coming from. What is it? The Mistral. Mistral, coming from the north. So hopefully that catches up with us and pushes us along because we're motoring. Man, this sucks. We got 1.4 knots of wind. And this is how far we've come. We were up here. And now we are clearly here. The wind was finally back to say hello, and so were the fish. Is it still on? Lock it off. What can I do? Engine's on. Or oh, should we ditch the sail? I want to catch this. trip to Sicily. Um, we've had an average of about 10 knots uh, wind speed today so we've mostly had the code D out uh, coming from about 292 degrees. So it's been pretty nice. We've had a few big waves come over the back but uh, mostly pretty cruisy. Uh, we caught a tuna earlier on but it got away. So Rally's a bit devo. So it would have been our first fish on New La Vagabond. So yeah. Uh, other than that we have been chilling inside brainstorming some ideas. Whoa, because we've been listening to a lot of uh, podcasts and audible books lately and we're all pretty inspired to take over the world and start life on Mars, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a good day. It's been a good day. We were only 45 nautical miles away from Palermo, where we hoped would be our first stop in Sicily. But Palermo being a city meant it would be quite busy in the port, so it would be ideal if we could avoid arriving there in the night. We decided to try our luck at a closer and smaller port on the island of Isola di Ustica. We planned to continue on to our final destination first thing in the morning. We're walking off the path and stepping on lost things. Slowly but surely Make it through this Warnings all around us Begging us to leave Join us next time on the water as we set up camp in Sicily's capital, take care of a few boat jobs, explore the city and visit the most horrifying place we've ever seen. A museum of preserved humans, the Capuchin Catacombs. Screaming out their names. We need to go and find them.